hey guys just got done working out and i figured there is no better time than to make an introduction portion of this video than when i'm hot and sweaty and messy so that's what you get today i don't know this video is my morning routine it's pretty simple pretty succinct for you um i am going to go over check-in photos and how you can kind of take well they're check-in photos for my clients but progress photos if you are on your own health journey at home and you're trying to kind of track your journey with photos and comparisons you know what i mean so that's in this video um other than that for those of you who don't know me i'm alex i am a health coach fitness and nutrition and i wanted to start documenting my own journey so I will be sharing plenty of information with you guys about the world of health you know nutrition and fitness and whatnot and then also just going over where I'm at with my journey I'm currently trying to bulk and put on muscle eat a ton of food it's very fun and I like it um, but I just want to I don't know share this with you guys and document it for myself so that I can look back on it and kind of you know know what I did and how it worked or if it didn't work change my methods so I appreciate you following along this video was shot over the course of multiple days, so none of it matches and lines up perfectly, but it is still the morning routine that I do every single day, regardless of if I'm home or traveling. Um, it's kind of just what sets me up for the good, for a good, <laughs> puts me in the right mindset for the day. <laughs> it uh, just centers me and makes life fun makes my days easy to approach so maybe you can take something from this video that can help you in your morning routines i do get up ungodly early i don't think everybody has to but that's what i like to do and that is how i fit this morning routine into my day if i was getting up you know 30 minutes before i had to leave the house for work that would be different but fortunately i do work from home most of us do right now, but I do all the time anyway. Um, so it makes the morning routine a lot easier to do. But anyway, I will let you guys just enjoy the video. Uh, more details written in the caption. So if you hear something and you're like, man, I wish I had that piece of information, it's probably not gonna pop up on the screen in this video because I'm not that fancy, but it is in the caption for you so that you can have access to whatever information it is that you need. So thank you for following along. Thank you for listening to me blabber. Enjoy the video and let me know what you think. First, I always start with coffee. Uh, I usually have it auto set to turn on at 5.30 a.m. Sometimes I don't preset it, I don't remember to, so I just get up and make it whenever I want it, but it is the first thing I do. I do not show myself making a cup here, but I take my black coffee with some creamer, and that's it, so nothing fancy. Next, we've got a one minute gratitude journal that I use. I do this almost every single day. I aim for every single day, for sure. Um, day of the week, date, things I'm thankful for. Very easy. I write down five every single morning and it really helps put me in a grateful mindset. These things can be big, they can be small. Mine are usually small because I like to focus on the small parts of life. So I literally wrote down automatic brewing option on my coffee maker because that usually makes me very happy first thing in the morning when I have set it and I don't have to worry about making it. Um, again, these can be big or small. Just be grateful for things and it is amazing what happens when you start your day on that positive foot. After gratitude, it's pretty simple. It is my skincare routine. I use Witch Hazel Facial Toner. Um, yeah, that's simple. I don't know how long I'm supposed to talk during this, you guys. I'm so bad at making videos, but I wanted to get this out for you. So should I narrate over this while I'm washing my face? I don't know. What is going on with my hair? Oh, that's a jade roller. And I froze it, as you can tell, because it... <laughs> literally made me react right there so cold but it feels so good it wakes up your skin wakes up your face massages your face muscles I don't know I just really like it so I use it you don't have to a little small fat get your eyeballs mm, 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 so cold uh wait can you even open your eye no it froze shut ah! it does feel good though look at those bags and circles under my eyes I have always had those I can't get them to go away so we just learned to love them my under eye bags have become my greatest accessory follow it with a little facial oil you can't even see what it says because the oil wore all of the ink off the bottle um, this is due date from Lime Life by Alcone 
I do work with them because I love their skincare products so much. They're absolutely clean, cruelty-free, really, really great solid company, and I have found that less is more for my face. So that's, that's really it. I think this has been probably the most exciting skincare routine you've ever seen. I think this is very entertaining, and I think I am very good at making these videos. And if you can't tell I'm being sarcastic, then I will just let you know that I'm being sarcastic and this voiceover may or may not be helpful, you guys. I'm going for a little entertainment because I'm still learning how to edit and do all of this. So now that I've rolled my face like a hundred thousand times, literally just because it feels good, I'm going to uh, do something else, I think. I don't know though. What comes next? Any guesses? God, I just rolled that so much. Like, wake up, kid. Get moving. What are you doing? What are you doing? All right, three hours later and a good little cut because I needed to. Sunscreen. Sunscreen is the last step. Very, very important. This specific kind of sunscreen I like because it also protects your skin against the blue rays coming from your computer. You know how there's like blue light blocking glasses? Well, this is supposed to help your skin too. So, you know, I don't know that it really works for that or not. I'm not sure, but I do actually love it. And I think skin sunscreen, Jesus, is a very important part of skincare. Bye. After that, hello again. We check on the plants. I use an app. If you have an iPhone, the app is called Planta, and it really just helps me take care of my plant babies so I don't kill them, because up until the year 2020, I have killed every single plant I've ever touched, whether it's in a garden or at home or anything like that. And I love them. I love the green. I love the life. And I don't want them to die. So I downloaded an app to help me out, and it has been very useful. And they did not sponsor this. And I don't care if you sign up for it or don't, but if you want a green thumb, give it a shot. Oh, I'm still working with plants here. Okay, okay, so uh, we're gonna mist them. Oh yes, right, I checked the water. That's a nice little fancy meter. Tells me if the soil's moist enough or not. Tells me if they're giving enough light or not. Again, I have a black thumb and I want a green thumb, so I'm doing whatever I can to learn how to not kill my plants. This is what works for me. I love them. It's been a very exciting journey and I'm excited to collect more. So this slide is actually what I want to show you guys the most, probably the most useful thing you'll get from this video. This is how I do my progress photos. I set my phone on a tripod and then I do what you see on the screen and then I will take screenshots from a front side and back point of view so that I can compare them on a weekly basis. I only do uh, progress photos once a week so Again, that was a quick way of doing it, but I just set mine on a video and then I'll take the screen grabs as necessary and compare them side by side. I usually do full body um, when I rotated my camera to make this video. It, didn't, it cut my feet off, but I like to do progress photos with full body. Um, and then after that, again, I only take those once a week, but when I'm done with that part where I'm done taking care of my plants, then I will make breakfast, which is always, almost always at least, a fancy protein smoothie. It's actually really not that fancy, and you can see me making it sped up here, making one for my boyfriend and myself. It always has a really wide range of carbs, fats, and protein to get me started on a good foot in the morning. I want to have energy for my workouts, want to have energy for the day, want to make sure I'm getting all my macros in and not just eating a protein or just eating a carb. So I use berries and bananas, um, spinach is in there, so I get a little bit of green, some micronutrients, and a vegetable. We put in peanut butter or peanut butter powder, yogurt, milk of your choice. He puts almonds in his. I don't do that for mine, but he um, wants the calories, has his own goals to work towards. And then, of course, there's protein powder and creatine. So it's a really nice smoothie recipe because you can change it up and you can use any combination of ingredients that you like. And it's just quick and easy and portable. Um, I like other breakfasts. I actually am a fan of real food for breakfast just because my stomach likes it. When it has something, you know, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but an actual solid food to digest. Uh, so I do usually eat like a slice of toast with this or something on the side, but the smoothies are easy. I know that they're healthy. I know I can customize them. If I'm dieting, I can use low fat ingredients. If I'm bulking, I can add more ingredients so it's higher calorie content. Um, you can change the flavor, although I never really do. 
So just something super duper simple and it really only takes like five minutes for us to throw together two shakes. Not even that long, honestly, and then it's done. So I'll leave the recipe for you guys in the caption. That way, if you want some inspiration, you've got it. And after breakfast, I like to meditate. Um, I try to do it at least 10 minutes a day in the morning. Sometimes I do 20 minutes or 25 minutes. Sometimes I'm really inspired to go longer. Sometimes I can only get two minutes of deep breathing or five minutes of focusing in. So I'm obviously not going to make you guys watch me meditate, but this is what it looks like. And I use the Calm app. Again, not sponsored, not anything like that. It's just an app that works for me and that I like. And I did find that upgrading to the paid version for a year was super helpful because they have different, just lots of different things on the app. The free version is very good too, but I like the paid version. I sleep better at night with the sleep stories that they provide and... I just love how thorough their meditation section is and you can customize it to do anything that you want. So that is how I kind of start my day so it can be peaceful, my mindset can be in the right place and I get off to a good start so that way the rest of the day is productive and happy. Thank you guys for watching along and listening to my horrible voiceover as there is a little ending here for you. But again, I appreciate the support and I hope maybe you found something useful in this. So there you guys go. Thank you so much for following along. Hope you found something helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or comments or if there's anything specific you wanna see. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Turn on notifications if you wanna know when I publish things that will be happening far more consistently now. Um, subscribe, do your thing, share with friends. I don't know. And if there's specific information you want covered, please reach out and I will make sure to make a helpful video because that is what this channel is, is I just want to give information and resources to you guys. It's nothing super serious or anything like that. Um, yeah, so I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you in the next video.